The Orlando Magic have finally traded Mr. Dwight Howard. Dwight Howard has officially been traded from the Orlando Magic to the Los Angeles Lakers. Yes, we all know that's not where he wanted to go. He wanted to go to the Brooklyn Nets. But no, he couldn't go there. Too many big contracts over there. They can't afford to get him. So thank God that the Orlando Magic have finally traded this man because this man has been a pain in the ass all offseason. He has been a total jerk. And you know what? Some of this is the Orlando Magic's fault. It really is because they took their sweet ass time to get this man traded. He has been a headache, but it's finally done. The Dwight Mayor is finally over with, and we don't have to deal with this shit anymore. Wait, yes we do, because Dwight Howard, he told ESPN's Mark Stein that he's not going to resign with the Los Angeles Lakers, and he's going to test free agency, or he can return to the Los Angeles Lakers. But Los Angeles Lakers, y'all better. Keep y'all motherfucking fingers crossed because if this man dish y'all, not only did y'all miss out on the best center in the NBA, but y'all lost the second best center in the NBA, Andrew Bynum, to the Philadelphia 76ers. And the Philadelphia 76ers, they also bring along Jason Richardson from the Orlando Magic. Now the Denver Nuggets, they get Andre Iguodala from the Philadelphia 76ers. And these are the three teams that got good out of this whole deal. I don't consider the Magic getting good out of this deal. I just don't. Al Harrington, yes, he's decent. Aaron Afalo, he's good. Nikolai Vucevic, who the hell is that guy? I mean, I'm not even trying to disrespect this man. Well, maybe it sounds like I am, but I don't know who this guy is. I have no clue who this guy is. Like, I seriously don't. And they get draft picks from the Lakers, the Nuggets, and the Philadelphia 76ers, but who know who knows how good those draft picks will be? You see, this whole deal is kind of interesting. I mean, it's really interesting. And the West has gotten stronger and the East has gotten stronger. East getting stronger by bringing Andrew Bynum to the Philadelphia 76ers. I mean, that is just crazy. The Atlantic Division is about to be wild. You got the Boston Celtics getting better in the offseason, bringing in Jason Terry, bringing back KG, Brandon Bass. Jeff Green coming back from heart surgery. I mean, the Celtics, we stepped up, and we got good in this offseason, and we were already good last season, but we gotten even better. You got Carmelo Anthony with the Knicks, and you got Jason Kidd coming over from the Dallas Mavericks. They got some good pieces. The Knicks have gotten better. The Brooklyn Nets, re-signing Darren Williams, getting Joe Johnson from the Atlanta Hawks, Marshawn Brooks. That guy has a bright future in the NBA, and he's going to be decent for that team, hopefully for them. And you know what? The Atlanta Division, it has just gotten even more interesting, and who knows? That Atlanta Division is up for grabs, and it's going to be really crazy next, it's going to be really crazy next season. Shit just got real, ladies and gentlemen. Shit just definitely got real. But that's who I believe got the better end of the deal, the Nuggets. The Lakers, of course, getting Dwight Howard and the Philadelphia 76ers. I don't consider the Magic, I don't consider them getting good out of this deal. I just don't. But that's my opinion. Leave the comments below. What's your guys' opinion? Who do you guys think will be the 2012-2013 NBA champions? And who will be the best team next season in the NBA? This is your boy DJ Charlie. I am out of here. See you guys in my next video. It's probably going to be on Sunday because my Colts, the Indianapolis Colts, we play the St. Louis Rams. That's the first preseason game. First preseason game of the season for us. And I can't wait to see what my boy Andrew Luck is going to be about. And I hope we get that victory. But see you guys in the next video that will be on Sunday. Like this video. Share it on your Facebook and your Twitter. I'm out of here you guys. Peace.